stopped by this little place that had kanifa, which is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert. It's made with that bird nest spun pastry stuff that you have in a lot of baklava and a lot of like Mediterranean um, treats. And it's got some like ice cream on it, and some pistachios. It's supposed to have a lot of sugar and cream and all this good stuff. So. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. You can definitely taste a little bit of the cream. Definitely a lot of sugar. And then just a little you know, bitter taste of the pistachio. Really well together. Need a lot more of that. So I've been really excited about going to Jerusalem probably since like Sunday school and we finally made it and it's really cool that we're sharing this on Palm Sunday and uh, man I gotta tell you we're in for a treat this week because we have three episodes coming out this week we're going to show you what to do in this amazing city and we're going to show you the walk that Jesus walked on his last day right on Good Friday. So make sure you tune in for that. But what we're gonna talk about right now is the food. And man, there is some amazing food. You know, we have three different religions, multiple cultures all coming together, and that can't equal anything but delicious food. So sit back and get ready, and hopefully don't get too hungry. Hi guys, I'm Turtle. And I'm Bear, and we are the Gallup Anthropologists. We're a father-son team of traveling anthropologists, and we're gonna be going around the world traveling to over 100 countries in the next few years. While we're doing that, we're gonna promote cultural heritage and ecotourism and a little bit of food culture. So please like and subscribe and stick with us because we got a really nice destination for you today. And of course, like everybody, we had to land in Tel Aviv. And Tel Aviv is a lot of fun. It's like a party center, but that's not really what we take trips for very often. So we bugged out and we got over to the old city of Jerusalem really as quickly as we could. Yeah, we hopped on a train, headed over there, and we had been on a red eye. We had sat in the airport for a while. So by the time we got to the city, we were starving. So we walked around and we found this cool little place. We just landed and we are walking to our hotel, which is in the old city, and this little place behind me looks nice, and they're playing some cool music, so we're gonna go have a little hors d'oeuvre, and then we're gonna grab some street food afterwards, but I kinda want a beer, so let's go check one out. And this place had a lot of really cool food, and a lot of them were more like main courses. We only wanted to have a snack, because we wanted to eat something quick, get to our hotel, drop our bags off, and then go and eat for real. Stop by this place, Shape Duni, S H A P E D U N I, and uh, they have something called a bloody eggplant, and it looks like a really good eggplant with some like chimichurri stuff, some cilantro, some like purple sprouts, and then of course tahini because we're in the Middle East. Tahini is great, so I'm looking forward to this. That's really good. The eggplant is cooked to perfection and it has a lot of different spices. And then you balance that with the kind of bitter neutral flavor of the tahini. It goes really well together. Would you say it's bloody good? <laughs> it's bloody good. Bloody good eggplant, I say. And uh, we also got a beer and we got a wine stefan. We just got back from Germany and Austria like a month ago. So it was really cool to see it here. And uh, good beer. Still a good beer. This is our friend Nadav who runs the place and uh, he's got his special family recipe. Um, it's like an Israeli ouzo, 
Okay, there's all sorts of cool stuff in there. The in Israel we say L'chaim. L'chaim. It's cheers. L'chaim. L'chaim. My sunglasses fell off, but that was good. Yeah, licorice. -y. Yeah, yeah very licorice. -y. It's much smoother than some of the blue sauce we have yeah. had in uh, Greece. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome. I loved your eggplants. There were a couple of little places on the side that we could have maybe got something quick, like soup or something, but it wasn't very convenient and we had a lot of heavy bags. So we just wanted to get to the hotel as fast as possible. We finally made it to Old Town Jerusalem and we're gonna go in through the new gate, mostly because that is what Google tells me to do. It's a beautiful little gate and it does look like it's new, but they did a good job of making it look old. And we finally made it to our hotel. It's really nice. There's all these cool architecture inside. It's called Hashimi Hotel, and it's located in the Muslim Quarter. And one thing that you need to remember here is that if you're in a Muslim-owned hotel, you normally cannot stay there together in the same room if you are not married. And so uh, we obviously aren't married, so we were able to stay there. That was good. And uh, I enjoyed even the cultural experience of that. But I was really eager to get out and go get some more food. And there was a really nice $1 sign with really good ratings right outside of the Damascus Gate. We're just outside the Damascus Gate and we're going to go to Al Ayyid Restaurante because it was the closest one with one dollar sign and a good rating. So we're going to go in here and have some falafel and some traditional food and then call it a night because that was a long red eye. That restaurant was really cool because right when you get there you can see all of the different salads and sauces and everything right there in front of you on the glass thing and you can order a salad which actually comes with everything and then you get a pita bread to kind of make it yourself. It's almost like a Israeli chipotle. Yeah, and you could smell the meat from like inside the gate and so you're like following your nose out there and the smell of the meat from that grill was wonderful. We're here at Al Ayed restaurant right outside of Damascus Gate in Jerusalem and we got kind of a smorgasbord of a bunch of different things. Uh, we got some really nice bread with a bunch of different sauces, we got a salad, we got a little bit of kebab, got some fries, and I'm gonna try the shawarma first because this is what I ordered. And they don't really do silver around here so it's just finger food. Get a little bit of everything in there, at least the chicken. Mm. That's really good. I'm trying to figure out what's uh, super sour. I think it's the, uh, the pickled beet radish stuff. Um, I don't normally like beets or radishes but it does add an extra little flavor to it, so I definitely recommend trying it. I love a good kebab. I especially like to get it a little spicy here, and this smelled really spicy. Some of this in here. Big healthy bite. That's so well seasoned, and that is spicy sauce. And Yeah, this place is cool. I have no idea what I'm spending on all this, but it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. Great first meal here.
we got a nice salad, and I gotta use the pita bread, kind of like a spoon. really good, it's nice and fresh. On our first morning, we got up so early that we couldn't even have the buffet breakfast that came with it. But that was because we had so much to pack in that day. We were actually going to go on two different paths that Jesus might have gone on on Good Friday, and you can watch that this Friday, which is Good Friday that's coming up. And we also wanted to do all these other great experiences, and there was one that I know was really something that you're excited about. Yeah, uh, when you think of Israel, you think of the Dome of the Rock. It's absolutely beautiful. So I was really excited to go and check it out for the first time ever. There's a little shop here on the left hand side as you're headed up to the Dome of the Rock and they were making some tea and some traditional coffee. And this is cardamom coffee. It's very hot and I wish it had a handle. Um, and hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth. But uh, no cream also, guys. Added a little bit of sugar. Probably could have used a little bit more. You can taste the cardamom. And you can taste that it is going to wake us up and we are way off of our normal sleep schedule. So wake up is good. We're going to go on to the Dome of the Rock in just a minute. And you guys should definitely do this if you're here, even if you like cream in your coffee like we do. The gate behind me is the gate to the Mount Temple, which is where the Dome of Rock is. And they closed it really fast. We read something that said that if a security thing happens, they can close it at any time. Well, they were in a really big rush to close it. So we're gonna sit around a little bit to hopefully it'll open in like 10 minutes. But in the meantime, we're gonna get some pomegranate juice. And I don't normally have pomegranate. They're kind of a pain to get the fruit off of the seeds. Um, but when they have a little juicing machine, I enjoy it. You know, it's almost like a, a sour grape flavor, if I remember correctly. Yep, it tastes like a really sour grape. Um, fresh squeeze, super fresh. No extra additives. Nice and refreshing. And since we weren't able to go into the Dome of the Rock at this point, we decided that we would go do something else cultural and get our first real meal of the day. This is the falafel pita. They put a bunch of stuff in there. They got fries and some salad. And of course, they've got hummus and pickles and just about everything you can think of. Mm. That's very good. Love me some falafel. I wanted to show you guys, this is a really nice piece of falafel in here. I got mine a little spicy. Best part of this is it's the first really affordable thing we've had here. It was only about $2.80 US. Mmm. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Oh, that falafel makes me happy. That is a really good falafel. Good as a sandwich too. I'm having a hard time finding the real spiciness. He was like trying to warn us that it was spicy. It's good. It's got a little spice to it. Very enjoyable. I guess Muslim ladies really like candy. They got like the and everything. And we went back and it was still the same. There were police in front of the gate and they weren't letting you in unless you were Muslim. I don't know if this had to do with the time of the day or if it had to do with the security issue that had happened earlier. Only Muslim. 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 Only Mu
What? We're still on the street. Well, we can't go here. No. Okay. And I swear we almost walked as much as the 32 miles that I did on my first day in Rome. The views were outstanding. Everywhere you turned, there was like a different flavor to this city. And it was amazing, but we wanted to end it with like a bang and a sunset on the Mount of Olives is absolutely gorgeous. And as we walked back, we started to smell all this delicious food again, and we were really hungry for burning all the calories. Every time you get a plate, you seem to get a bunch of salad and some traditional Middle Eastern bread. Um, we also decided to get some hummus and some tabbouleh. So I'm gonna try a little bit of every salad here. Open it up a little bit like a pita. This almost looks like a coleslaw. And I'll throw a pickle in there. Good measure. This restaurant was really cool. I love the ambiance. It's almost like you're inside of a cave. And we had some really delicious food. Probably the best meal we had in Jerusalem. And I'm gonna try some of the hummus here. You got that nice olive oil in it. Looks like a really great texture. Super, super smooth. And I got some chicken shawarma. Looks really good. See the yellow color? You can tell they use some sort of curry or cumin or something like that. So it's always good. Get a little bit of that. And then I think I'm going for this hummus. The hummus is really good. A little bit of hummus in there. Some of the fresh tomatoes and cucumber. Oh yeah, that was good. Mm. It's really good. It is like a, a curry powder. It's delicious by itself. It's really good. It's very delicious all by itself. I already got a finger full. I got the combination plate and it's got chicken and beef and the traditional kebabs. Mm. You can really taste the charcoal in the chicken. It's got nice and charred. It's very good. They're all three very delicious. Definitely worth eating. I do like his curry shawarma a little bit better than any of the three, but you can't go wrong with either, and why not do both? Oh, honestly, I could have had a lot more of that stuff, and pretty much anything that we had in the Middle East. Middle Eastern food is amazing. Luckily, we had a couple more weeks left in the Middle East, so I was gonna have an opportunity to have plenty of it. And we had plenty of adventures, and I hope you're all subscribed, and we'd love if you'd throw a like or give us a comment on what your favorite food is for Jerusalem or the Middle East, because we will be back multiple times over the course of our lifetime, and we're excited to try absolutely every experience and every food that we come across. We hope that you find yourself at a dinner table in Jerusalem at some point in your life, and as always, find, find yourself, yourself on a journey. journey.